Twitter people, get ready because today we are embarking on a journey through the fascinating world of Swiss watchmaking. And oh boy, we do have some tales of micro precision that are sure to captivate your tech loving heart. So fire up that espresso machine and let's dive into the TikTok of this incredible journey. Welcome to the world where every tick is a testament to precision and every tool is a tribute to tradition. Yes, my friends, we are talking about the Swiss watchmaking saga, a story not just of time, but of dedication, precision and, you guessed it, the unsung hero of the horology world, tweezers. Imagine ourselves in Geneva back in the 16th century, the Protestant Reformation inaugurated by Martin Luther's posting of his 95 Theses in opposition to the Roman Catholic Church become, began a wave of reform that swept across Europe and into the new world of the Americas. John Calvin became a leader of the movement, reforming not only church doctrine, but also the city of Geneva altogether. In fact, John Calvin took in a literal fashion the Reformation motto sola fide and sola scriptura, faith alone and scripture alone, by imposing anti-sumptuary laws in Geneva. In 1541, he banned the wearing of jewelry, the shops could no longer display enticing gold and diamonds, and the jewelers found themselves in a quandary. John Kelvin deemed the watch to be a practical instrument, and so allowed its production and sale, and unwittingly created a loophole, a place where extravagance was out and functionality became the new norm. Thanks to John Kelvin, our jeweler's friends had to pivot from their original craft to something entirely new, and thus the art of Swiss watchmaking was born. This sparked a transformation that saw Switzerland rise as a global hub for watch production, crafting over 20 million timepieces a year. But how did this transition unfold? Economically, the demand for watches pushed the original jeweler manufacturer to seek cost-effective alternatives, and the mountain regions provided the solution with their affordable labor, allowing for high-quality production at reduced cost. Socially, the harsh condition of mountain life prompted locals to seek additional sources of income, so watchmaking became a lifeline offering opportunities during the long winter months and integrating mountain communities into the national and international economy. So when the land rests under a thick blanket of snow, the industrious Swiss farmers and peasants found a new rhythm in the delicate dance of watch components. Their workbenches, nestled in humble homes, might have been simple, but their skills were nothing but that. Fast forward to the present days, the Swiss watchmaking industry employs more than 65,000 people and generates around 27 billion Swiss francs in sales per year, which equates to the 4% of entire Switzerland GDP. Now, let's talk about Swissness, a land where being late is more surprising than finding a cow without a bell in the serene countryside. Yep, we're talking about a culture where punctuality is king and respect is measured in second. It's this particular ethos that powers the precision of Swiss watchmaking, where every detail, no matter how small, is treated with the utmost respect. And where do our beloved wizard fit into this long-standing history of precision and craftsmanship? Right at the heart, my friends. Supplying the titans of the Swiss watchmaking industry, our tweezers are the maestros behind the scene making sure every tiny component is exactly where it needs to be, with precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker heart sing. So whether you are a watchmaker, you are a solder master, or a laboratory scientist, let's not forget what brings us together. A passion for precision, a love for the craft, and the tools that make it all possible. It's not just about making it work, it's about making it perfect. So, stay sharp, stay precise, and most importantly, stay ideal tech.